What's up, Odoers, and welcome back. Today, we're discussing how AI can help our recruitment team by pre-screening applicants for us. At Stealthy Wood, business is great, and as a result, we're constantly hiring. We need more employees to keep up with our work and custom orders, but hiring is no easy task. Between getting the word out, filtering applications, doing interviews, and all the paperwork involved for each step can be tedious and time-consuming, so anything we can do to help the recruitment team, the better. When our recruiters have to look manually at every single resume submitted, it slows down the entire recruitment pipeline. Not just that, but the subconscious bias can creep in and qualified candidates can easily be overlooked. Our recruiters have to filter through hundreds of resumes every week, and with such a high volume, it's easy to miss a great candidate or finding them just takes a lot of effort. When keywords don't match up, they can accidentally think a candidate is underqualified and could potentially pass on a perfect match. Time is wasted interviewing unqualified applicants and the stress and pressure of keeping up with hiring quotas while being either understaffed or doing things manually can mean either hiring subpar employees or worker burnout in the recruitment department. So today, we're going to learn how AI can help us scan applicants and see what experience and skills they have. The AI will let us know which applicants are either the best fit by moving them to the qualified or refused stage, depending on how they measure up. It will also provide a brief summary of why they made the decision, highlighting the applicant's experience and qualifications. This will save our recruitment team a lot of time and headaches, allowing them to hire better candidates in less time. This means our employees fit with our work culture, are enthusiastic, and ready to work. So what exactly are the benefits of using AI to screen applicants? On average, each interview has a 35% increase in the quality of the applicant, Recruiters can also save about 6 to 12 hours each week using AI to help screen applicants, lowering the overall screening time by up to 75%. As a result, recruiters don't just save a lot of time, but can shortlist qualified applicants three times faster for positions that get a lot of applicants. But enough chit chat, let me show you this in action. Since we're going to be doing some cool configurations with Studio, we need to be in developer mode. To do that, we're just going to hop into our settings scroll to the very bottom and then just simply click activate developer mode also i already installed the module ai fields so be sure to install that as well we're starting off here in our main recruitment app dashboard i need to make some changes to the job applications so i'm just going to click any of these new applications buttons and then click on any applicant record then we're going to click studio in the top right corner and here in our form view, because I need to configure a lot of new fields, I'm only going to show you how to add the last two fields that we need, which will be country of residence and if the applicant needs a sponsorship. I've already added a professional tab right here, and you can see the fields that I've added. Now I'm going to add two new fields, but in the details tab. I'm going to click add in the left menu. And then here, we're going to find the many to one field and drag this directly under degree. I need to specify which selectable field this is, so I'm going to click country. And then click confirm. Next, I'll need to update the text since I don't want this to just say new many to one. So I'm going to click into this field again, but we're going to change the label to country of residence and then save that great now we're going to click the add button once again but this time we're going to select the selection field and drag that beneath the country of residence so this pop-up makes us enter the available selections in this case the first value will be yes and the second value will be no then we'll click confirm. And just like we changed the label for our country of residence field, we're going to do the same thing for this label. And we're just going to type need sponsorship. And then we'll save this as well. Perfect. Now we can close studio out. Now that we've added those fields to the back end, we need to add them to the front end. 
So to do that, I'm going to use the breadcrumb menu to get back to the job positions dashboard. And then here we're going to find our carpenter position and then we'll just click on the job page. Now I'll click apply now. And next I'll click the edit in the top right so we can make the necessary changes. So I want to add country of residence beneath this resume field here. So to do that, I need to click on the resume field and then I'll click plus field on the right side menu. When I do that, a blank field appears here at the bottom and I want this field to display the countries in the database so it can map the answers onto the applicant form. So to do that, I'm going to change the type on the right side menu and currently it's set to text and we're going to select this down and then in the existing fields we're going to find country and then select it and just like what we did previously we're going to update this label to country of residence now i'll need to add a field beneath that by clicking the plus field button once again but this time i'm going to select need sponsorship for the type. The label and the selections automatically update. Now all I need to do is move these fields where I want them. So I'll just click country of residence first and directly drag this under resume. And then following that I'll click into need sponsorship and I'll drag that under country of residence. Perfect. That looks good. So now I'm just going to click save in the top right and we are good to go. Now our online application page and applicant forms have been updated and mapped. And we've also connected those dots, so to speak. So now we need to tell the AI what to do with all these new fields. Here back in the recruitment app, we're going to find our carpenter job position card and then click on the five new applications button. Then we're going to click into any record, let's say Bobby Jones. And what we'll see here is that we've already created an AI assessment tab with Studio. I've mapped out the other fields, but I still need to add the new country of residence information. So I'm going to enable Studio. Click back into the AI assessment tab and then click into the AI assessment field. And then next, we're going to click into the prompt field here on the left menu. So this is already formatted and mapped to what is on the website, but what does this all mean? It accomplished this with these instructions, giving a step-by-step -step guidance. There's also important information here that the AI should consider. It tells the AI that it can't process an evaluation if the important information is missing, so it'll let the user know. Then it tells the AI how to format its summary and score. And last, but most importantly, we have the inputs, which map the answers on the application to the applicant form, essentially linking the front end to the back end, which is through this. These blue fields have all been mapped to the corresponding fields on the application page on our website. So we're going to scroll to the very bottom and we're going to enter some new prompts here. First one being for the country of residence, and the second being the need sponsorship. So I'm going to highlight the second country of residence here. Then we're going to put a forward slash and select this field selector. And then here, all we have to type in is country of residence, select it, and then insert. And now that field is mapped. Last, we're going to do the same thing to need sponsorship. We're going to put a forward slash, select field selector, but needs sponsorship. Select it and then insert once again. Okay, I finished mapping the two new fields, so all we have to do now is click Save and Generate. Now we told the AI how to score our applicants. We need to tell the AI what to do with these applicants after they've been screened. So to do that, we're going to set up an automation and just click Automations here at the top. And then we're going to click New. So first, we're going to give this a name. I'm just going to enter update stage. The model is correct, set to applicant. So next, we need to set the trigger to on create and edit. 
Now I'll update the domain by clicking on the first edit domain button. And then we're going to click new rule. And then for the first field, we're going to set this to AI assessment. And then in the second field, we're going to select set. Then all we have to do is click confirm. This tells the AI to see if the assessment was done before performing this action. And I'll set the last field when updating to AI assessment. Now I need to add an action and we'll name this update applicant stage. And then for the update type, we're going to put update record and then we're going to change the first field to update with AI. Now, be sure to have the AI server actions module installed or this option won't be available to you. For the second field, we're going to select stage. And that's because that's what we're looking to update. And then for the last field, all we have to do is configure a prompt. I've already made one, so I'm just going to paste it in. Now, for this second AI assessment that's shown right here, I'm going to highlight it, type in a forward slash, and then we're going to select field selector. And then here, I'm going to select AI assessment, and then insert. Last, I need to set the two stages the record should go to, so we're going to highlight the second qualification here, type another forward slash, but this time we're going to select records selector. And then we're going to type qualification, select it, and then click insert. And then here we're going to highlight the second rejected, type forward slash, and then once again we're going to select record selector, and we're going to type rejected followed by insert. Now all we have to do is click save and close, and then we'll exit studio. Now that everything's set up, let's see this in action. Here on our recruitment dashboard, I'm just going to find our carpenter position and click this job page link. Now I'll just click apply and I'm going to quickly fill this out and submit an application for a very, very underqualified person. Okay, so I guess I'm feeling lucky, so I'll click I'm feeling lucky. Truth be told, I do not feel lucky with this application. But anyways, let's go back and repeat this, but for an actually qualified applicant. This time, the applicant is Samantha Rivera. Okay, that looks good. So I'm going to click, I'm feeling lucky. Now both applications are in. Let's see what the AI does with them. I'm going to go back to the job position dashboard and I'm just going to click applications followed by job positions. And then we're gonna go down to the carpenter card and click on our new applications button. So right off the bat, let's find John Doe's card. It looks like he's already in the rejected stage. Now, if we click into his card and check on the AI assessment, it looks like here there was a 0% fit or a weak fit in other terms. Good to know. And if we look at the status bar, we can see that he was automatically moved to the rejected stage. Now, what about Samantha? Let's go back to the applications once again. And right off the bat, we can see her in the qualification stage. And if we click into her profile and take a look at the AI assessment, it seems like she's a great fit. And she was already moved to the qualification stage, which is great. This really does seem to work well. And there you have it. We learned how to use AI to automatically screen our applicant pool and determine if they're a good fit based off of the information that they provide. This time-saving tool allows our recruitment team to spend their time on higher stake activities, like ensuring our job opportunities are reaching the right audiences on the right platforms, as well as performing in-person interviews. What this means is we end up hiring the best, most qualified candidates for our open positions in less time. Our recruitment team reaps the benefits with up to a 25% increase in productivity thanks to a 30 to 50% faster time to hire timeline. Not just the recruitment team, but the benefits are felt across the entire board. 
Hiring the right people with the right attitude sets us up for success with a high-performing workforce that's a good culture fit, which ultimately leads to employee satisfaction and an increase in morale, which ultimately creates good employee retention rates. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.